Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle King Thistle's new clothes The pink dress or the blue dress? Mummy, I can't decide The pink one looks nice on you, Holly But what about me? Green or yellow or turquoise? Ben, what do you think? Um, maybe the pink one for you and the greeny blue one for your mum. Green, blue, yellow, purple? What's all this fuss about? King and Queen Marigold are coming to visit today, remember? <sighs> oh, yes. They are very fashionable and I don't want them to think we look scruffy. Who looks scruffy? You look scruffy. Do I? Yes, Daddy. Hmm. What do you think, Ben? Man to man. Do I look scruffy? Uh, maybe you could be a tiny bit smarter. That is why I have ordered the elf tailor to make you some new clothes. Hmm. And you must have a bath. OK. The elf tailor. That's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know, I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a qualified tailor. Oh, I see. Carry on, then. I'm off to have a bath. But hurry up. Our guests will be here soon. Uh, King Thistle's new clothes, Your Majesty. Ooh, lovely. But is this fashionable? This is a classic cut, made from the finest woolen fabrics, Your Majesty. Oh, very nice. Uh, oh, please, don't prod it, Nanny Plum. It's a very delicate fabric, which means you must not clean it with magic. Yes, yes. Thank you, Taylor. Bye. Goodbye. Can you see that speck of dirt there, Holly? I can't see anything, Mummy. Nanny Plum, can you see that speck of dirt? Where? There? No. There. <gasps> oh. Oh, dear. Mummy, you've made Daddy's new clothes dirty. So I have. And King and Queen Marigold will be here soon. Nanny, have you got time to clean it? Leave it with me, Your Majesty. Nanny Plum? Can Ben and I help you? Of course. Hmm, that's a fair old stain. How are we going to clean it? Um... The elf tailor said we shouldn't use magic. That's all right. We'll just throw it in the washing machine. But the elf tailor said it was very delicate. What does an elf know about washing clothes? He makes them. He might make clothes, but he hasn't washed as many as I have. We'll need lots of soap powder. Are you sure this is a good idea? Of course it's a good idea. Nothing clothes like better than a good, hot, soapy wash. You know, as we're doing a wash, we should clean the king's old clothes as well. His scruffy clothes? Yes. OK. La 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 Daddy! Yes? We're going to wash all your clothes. OK. Shoes and crown too, Nanny. Why not? Then everything will be clean. <laughs> la 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 Fantastic. In they go. There. Now we let the washing machine do all the work. 
It's all very clever and scientific. What's it doing? That's the first wash cycle. Now what's it doing? It's rinsing all the soap out. It's very clever. <laughs> Finished! Yes. Now let's see if all that soap got that stain out. Oh, Daddy's crown is a bit bent. And his shoes are all soggy. Oh dear. Were the king's clothes always this small? <gasps> They've shrunk! Nanny Plum, are the king's clothes clean? That's Mummy. Uh, nearly ready, Your Majesty. Nanny, what are we going to do? Maybe when the clothes are dry, they'll go back to their normal size. Yes, Ben. I'll just do a simple spell to dry them. But the tailor said you shouldn't use magic. Oh, I'll only use a teeny tiny gentle little spell. Ahem. Abracadabra, make clothes dry. Thunder and lightning, flame and fire! <coughs> ah! Nanny Plum, quick, give me the king's new clothes. Our guests will be here any minute. Where are the clothes, Nanny Plum? And what's that smell? We washed Daddy's clothes, but they shrunk. And then Nanny burnt them with magic. My goodness. Daddy will have to wear his old clothes then, I suppose. But we cleaned Daddy's old clothes too. What? You mean he has no clothes to wear? Uh, yes. Hello. Where are my clothes? Nearly ready, darling. I'm all clean now. Nanny will bring you your clothes in a moment. And I smell lovely. Nanny, call the elf tailor. Ah, too late. That's King and Queen Marigold. Well, what are we going to do now? Uh, um, mm. uh... We can make magic clothes. Nanny, can you do that? If you insist, Queen Thistle, but magic clothes can be a bit tricky. Hello, anyone there? They're here. Oh, just make the magic clothes, Nanny. I'll go and see you to our guests. As you wish, Your Majesty. First, we need something to turn into shoes. Lemons? No, they need to be shoe-shaped. Ah! Oh. Carrots! <laughs> now, we need something round and juicy for the jacket. A lemon? No, a tomato. Hmm, what can we use for the crown? Ah, oh, Holly, you remember King and Queen Marigold? Hello, Hello Princess, Princess Holly. Holly. Hello, and this is my best friend, Ben Elf. Hello, Ben. I must say, your clothes are quite, um, charming. Yes, nice and, uh, sensible. Oh, is it the country look? Uh, I think the way one dresses is very important. My husband won't be a moment. He's just changing into his new clothes. New clothes? That sounds interesting. Uh, well, it is an experiment. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, ho, ho, that's fantastic. Outstanding. Ooh. Really? Well, the jacket feels a bit soggy, actually. It looks wonderful. So fresh and exciting. <laughs> we were just saying how important it is to think carefully about what you wear. Oh, I don't think I think at all. <gasps> oh, I say. Oh, what's that? Yes, I was worried that might happen. Tricky things, magic clothes. <laughs> Daddy, you've got a lemon on your head. This is nothing to do with me. My wife chose it. That is amazing. Awesome. I've never seen anything like it. Absolute genius. Self-transforming clothes? I would never. 
never thought of that. And you say that you don't think about what to wear. <laughs> you know more about fashion than we ever could. Where do you get your inspiration from? Ah, well, uh... Now, tell me, have you ever considered teaching fashion? Oh. <coughs> ah, Nanny Plum, could you make us something for dinner, please? Of course, Your Majesty. I can make you anything you like, as long as you don't want carrots, tomatoes or lemons. <laughs> <laughs>